Hi guys and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online and I made the decision on what ship to go for. I'm going for a Warbird. This is pretty much a let's play so you know or a role play so without doing the Warbird that would be a little bit off. Uh, let me just check that I can't get one at another time. Uh, I can but it's a Zen ship you know. I'm sorry, I get access to a war, to a Romulan Warbird, I am just taking it. Um, that's just the way it is, so let's go for the Dideradex Warbird. And we'll ready it. Okay, let's head for the flotilla so that I can get on board my ship. And I will also give it the Valdor console because that's kind of what's necessary. And I definitely will need to give it some uh, RCS accelerators because it's slow as you can possibly imagine. Okay, so let's select my ship. Uh, first thing I am going to do though, I'm going to dismiss. I'm going to dismiss my old ships uh, because because I'm going to need the space and let's ready the icon the main event that's what she is and I will give her the What does Dibernian give you? Phaser and Disruptor and that's Kinetic. I don't think either of them help too much, but what else have we got here? Uh, I'll put flow caps on, it's not going to help much. And um, what I need here are, I need plasma energy weapons, so I need to go to the... You know what? You know what? I think I'm going to put a torpedo back on her. Even though I can't get the, like, full-on... Let me just check the damage on these. 168.2. So these are actually better than the uh, Mark IV ones. That's quite funny. Although, I might... I am contemplating changing to beams at the moment. Got, whoa, loads of stuff. Uh, some of which I may want, so I'm going to have to sort this out, I think. Right, let's discard that, because I don't want it. That's a worse shield than what I currently have, so we can discharge that. Discard a couple of other things. I don't really want a Mark IV torpedo. You know what? I actually don't think the Dideridex is capable of being a uh, is capable of being a. Oh, this is a disruptor. Yeah. I don't believe the Dideridex is capable of being a... How can I describe this? I don't think it's capable of being a beam boat. Uh, sorry, not a beam boat, a cannon boat, because from what I know of it, it's just way too slow. So we are going to go with the... We're going to go with a beam array build, at least at the front, uh, until I can pick up some more uh, arrays. What does this do? It's exactly the same, pretty much. So we can get rid of that. We can get rid of these as well. I'm just doing a quick clean up just so I can uh, fit some more things on me. Won't be using that. 
Why have I got all these tribbles? And I don't think there's anything else I want to do here. I can get rid of the phases, they're not going to help me, and I'm not going to use them now. I'm way beyond the, their level. Anything that's Mark IV is just getting discarded. Uh, I'll keep the half peng torpedo just for like sake of having it. For turret, discard that. Mark four, discard that. Mark six, keep hold up just in case. Mark four, quantum, discard that. I should be able to open this now. Oh, it's spire and dilithium thing. And 50,000 fleet dilithium vouchers. Wowzers. Many, many things. Can I. Uh, Help in a way, yeah, this way. Got enough. Yeah, I want to use vouchers if I can. So hopefully that hasn't knackered. Yeah, there you go. They, they use your fleet vouchers first. So that's contributed a little something something to the fleet and it's given me a hundred thousand fleet credits so I can start buying a few more things but I think what we need to do is take the icon for a little bit of a spin just sort all this stuff anything else yeah I can ditch that ditch these as well. God, so much stuff I've just been holding on to since the start of the game. So I kind of don't need it anymore. We'll take all of that. I might actually put the singularity core on. What's its maximum warp factor? No, what the hell? 6.7 it's so slow oh my god it's so slow this is going to be painful but hopefully we'll pick up some cool stuff anyway uh, again i'm not looking to spend like cash on the ship at least not until i get to rank 50 there's no point so uh, yeah that will do i guess could get to 7.8 with that, but I don't get the uh, shield power or the charge rate, so we'll ditch that as well. Right, well, I guess we can get on with our mission now. Uh, the other thing I will need to do is train my bridge officers, because I don't think I have the bridge officers necessary for this. Wow, I have a commander engineer, that's cool. But he's going to need training in some uh, abilities that are worth crap. Tovan, yep. He needs beam array fire at will. Feral, oh no, I don't. Yep, okay, and that can be you. Although you need training in hazard emitters too. Okay, so we're going to have to do some retraining here. Uh, dealing with a bit of lag, but what else is new? anything here what I need is the skill trainer that's the skill trainer okay so I don't have many really cool things but let's just see what we've got here Tovan has been Murray fire oh no wait a minute uh, I want you to have attack pattern beta I want you to have beam Murray fire at will one that's what we need now then, for my engineer. I don't have any technicians, so I can't really go uh, auxiliary to battery yet. So let's see what we can get on the other side. Ugh, there's some terrible things that we can get. That's what they are. Uh, I'll do Aceton Beam just because of what it is, but it's still pretty crap. And I'll do Reverse Shield Polarity for the uh, other guy. I'm 
going to need an engineer, aren't I? Hmm. Let me think. Let me think. So, skills. Feral. Please learn so I'm going to have to promote him twice. He's now a commander. And you need to learn reverse shield polarity too, because that's what I want your default to be. And you can learn Aceton Beam too, just because blag. <laughs> I don't have anything better to put there at the moment. That's why you're learning that. Uh, Zetch. Okay, now I can buy. It's going to cost me a little bit of dilithium, or do I go on to the exchange? No, because I want a Romulan, so. I want an engineer. And, you know, I can only get common ones, but whatever. There's no room yet, but there will be very shortly when I get rid of one of these people and it will probably be Satra for now oh yeah you need to be trained in hazard emitters too as well don't you so oh no so let's train you in hazard emitters too apologize for this guys but this is pretty much what you end up having to do uh, sick and yeah skills learn hazard emitters two swap to that okay so we've got side team hazard emitters two track to me yeah that's fine for now satra are we gonna ditch her She's got some cool abilities. Do I just ditch my second tactical for now, consider considering he's got no decent skills? I think that that's fine, so. We'll discharge him and take an engineer for the moment. You know, this isn't something that I'm going to be doing too much, but alright, let's promote her to Tant, and she needs to learn some abilities as well. Maybe I should have gone for the Arkif, just for, you know, just for the sake of being, alright, so emergency power to shield. And I'll actually, I'm actually going to get a second emergency power to weapons. She can be my. Uh, she can pretty much be my Drake. I know that this is a waste in at the beginning. Uh, for some reason, my traits have become inactive again. I don't know why it does this, but stick them all on. And skills. Can you learn something that might even be slightly useful? There we go. Right, so hopefully now, that should be everyone, that should be everyone sorted now. And there we go, I can now beam up to the ship and we can get on with our latest mission. We'll just be doing it rather slowly. I've also got the thingy equipped. I've also got the Valdor console equipped, but yeah, I hate that this is in the way. Let's move over and have a look at the icon, the Dideridex class warbird. Still as impressive now as it always has been. Haven't flown one of these yet and to be honest I think it's going to be very slow, but whatever. And it's time for us to begin Wastelands, so it's Secrets of Nimbus time. <laughs> yeah, considering what I went through. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, the planet of galactic peace. And it's now owned by the Orion Syndicate. Oh, great. I have new orders for you. Let's go. Oh, yes. And back to the uh, way of handling things. Always make sure to get your power levels correct when you're doing this. Do I have any more skill points to spend? No, nothing that's really terribly important. And let's go into the Nimbus system. Just seeing this from the Romulan point of view, they've done a much better job of making you utterly hate Hakeem in this. God, I got a fat ass. Got a real fat ass now, but hey, it is what it is. And I'm not entirely loaded out yet, but we will see how this goes. I have to check to see if there's Iconian tech here. Why have I got a stun pistol on? Nice. Oh, it's the Tetrion beam stun pistol. I don't want that. I want gun. There we go. Gun. Uh, righty ho. So shall we get moving on this? Let me just see if there are any, if there's any Iconian tech necessary. Uh, the answer is no, from what I can see. And the rest are just skirmishes. Yep, the rest of it is from Spectre. So there's nothing in this. So we just need to do the storyline. Oh, Horace Jones is over here, isn't he? Now I'm going to go through this a little bit faster than I would normally because if you need it. I've already done an LP of this as a federation so I'm going to do this very quickly. If you need it. I've got it. But you know I'm going to do it at a level that guys who haven't seen it before might be able to follow and we'll be catching up on the Romulan story arc as well. <laughs> if you need it. So we need to speak to two of eight, and we get a common quality duty officer. If you need it, I... So, let's go. Do I have any more abilities that I need to slot here? I've got fire on my mark, photon grenade, initiative target optics. So the answer is no on that front. Target optics is basically attack pattern alpha just on the ground. I actually want to put a few things in my bank, like the ship, that, uh, and I think, yeah, you can use these directly from your bank, so there's no reason not to put them there. Oh, that's a science officer, so we'll leave that, and tribbles can stay where they are. They'll probably start breeding, but what the hell. Oh, that's the weapon I wanted to put on, wasn't it? The uh, plasma assault heavy blah blah. That's the sucker. Oh, just let me check because I think I might have my newbie with me on this. Oh no, I'm, I'm all alone, so that's okay. What else have I got in here? A GPL conversion unit. Lita? Spin the wheel and win. Spin the wheel and win. 
sure thing. I'm Lita, the first lady of the Ferengi Alliance, but I used to live on Deep Space Nine and run these tables. After the Dominion War ended, I left DS9 with Rom to live on Ferenginar. He's Grand Magus, you know, and I'm so proud of him. Yet my old boss Quark was losing profit, so he talked me into posing for this hologram. I'm still not sure it was a good idea, but Quark is family. I had to help him out. And if the players are happy with a hologram, well, <laughs> who am I to judge? Spin the wheel pretty, and win. Pretty shitty hologram because she keeps blinking in and out. You need information? Not seen Hakeev yet. Oh, I've got a quest in here. Oh god, not a dance coordinate. No, I'm not up for a dance competition. Oh, maybe. I will do that in an off video at the moment. <laughs> For the moment I want to get through the Nimbus storyline. This weapon's huge! Ah, and here come my guys now. So let's just make sure they're armed. Because it would be a little bit unfortunate if they were not. However, I will upgrade their weaponry a little bit, just to make sure that they're not using complete garbage. Give him a minigun. Actually, a Mark V rare might be better than a... Oh, he was using Mark IV, forget that. Eh, there's plenty of things I can use. I would just like them to have something that isn't completely terrible. Like this guy, he has nothing, so he's probably going to die a ton, but whatever. Don't mind, let's go. As long as I'm okay, all is well. Ooh, scorpions. Yep, just take some miniguns. Ow! Leave it alone. Small hypos are good. I'm going to like this mission because you get to kill a shed load of stuff and that's going to be dilithium farming. That's what that's going to be. Just got to scan all these weapon remains. fails, biff it one. He's a big boy. Got to defeat the giant scorpion. 
That's a big boy. You can see how much damage you do with an exploit, which is what Target Optics does. Just exposes everything, which makes for some pretty nasty damage going on, really. I would like to target the thing that's right in front of me, please. Thank you. Oh yeah, I'll change weapons to a much worse weapon. Why would that? Why would I not want to do that? Ooh, big boy. Giant scorpion. Let's get over there and kill it. But first... Oh. Ground controls always seem to be that little bit, little bit sticky. Your targeting can go random, like that. It's a little bit weird. And this is the final. Uh... So now we've got to recover the downed officers. Love when there's multiple people. Yeah, let's rescue the Klingons who aren't even our allies. I free. Ugh. Are these ones? Okay, must have been these ones. Okay, let's head back to the city and we're gonna beat up the Borg. And my guys randomly disappear because apparently I can only do this alone. Ah, yes. And I'm now rank 5 in beams, which means that I can collect yet another R&D recruit. I'll bust that open. And I want beams to go to level 10, please. Thank you very much. That's what that lets you do. So, you're never going to get away from it. Okay, so let's start some... Uh... I've got to get three schools up to level five now in order to open this uh, slot. So, we'll work on them one at a time. Now I'm going to go and kick this guy's ass. Why did you send me out there into a load of scorpions? Hmm. His name is Law. 
Okay, so let's speak with this law then. Whoa, tons of stuff to look for there. I'll uh, look into all this in a little bit. But I do like the extra little bit of dilithium farming we're get, getting to do here. Now I can't quite remember where Law's house is, but it's back in it's back in the city for sure. like I'm heading the wrong way again, okay. So, since I got it wrong last time, I believe it must be this way then. Okay, yeah, this looks fine. There we go. Not everyone can stand up to the Syndicate. We do have quite a fancy starship. We do have a warbird in orbit. Okay, so now we've got to go and kick the ass off some sandworms, I suppose. Uh, so Playing a lot like a normal MMO at this point, in other words, grind a load of stuff out. And my guys suddenly reappear again. So let's get motoring. This is a hell of a big map. So I would like to be able to go up here at some point, but you know, this is, this is a big old map and it does give you some sense of scale. You know, it shows the amount of work that has actually gone into this game overall. And, you know, it's a, there's a lot of people who criticize, who criticize it. I've been one, but you can't argue with certainly the way the game looks or feels. You can argue a little bit with the storyline, but even then they've slow burned it. And I kind of like that. I like the fact that it's been slow burned rather than fact that everything is given at once and they just load of stuff out it builds anticipation although you do feel sometimes you want the story to progress a little bit faster than it is but hey whatever worms Since they can't move, grenades are quite cool to use against. Nice with that disruptor. What the hell's he using? Is that a. What is that anyway? Oh, it's an assault minigun. That's why it looks so awesome. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people around at the moment, so the sandworms aren't... Ah. Okie 
Okay. The slowdown effect is really annoying. It said there might be consoles up here. Console! Yeah, doesn't give you much, does it? Is that an invisible wall or what? Oh great, am I unable to get out of here? Why would they put a console in a place where you can't get into or out of? Got it, just. Looks like my uh, dudes are stuck as well. No, here comes one of them. And I gotta disrupt a pulse wave, and here come the rest of them. Woot. Like locked at level 26 at the moment on this map, so you can't say that it's too much of a challenge. Certainly not when compared to what we were facing on the last mission, when it was just a case of like monstrous amounts of dudes coming, you know, Romulans coming at you with really nasty abilities. I wonder how I'll do on the. Uh, I wonder how I'll do this time round on a couple of the things I was doing. I imagine I'll die properly again a couple of times. Oh, so we've got someone using plasma grenade. That's nice. Mmm, fire. Killing these people decrypts stuff, so let's get out of here and then we can. We should be able to just beam back once we're out of combat. There we go. Yeah, you know, apparently the bar has all sorts of cool things. Yeah, you know, this should. Apparently, you can do all your business at the bar. You know, this is a 19. Like, this is a 19. Well. It's a current establishment, isn't it? It's like all, all business gets done either in a bar or on a golf course. That's just the way the world works these days. So here we go, computer at the back. First two did. First two digits add up to the third, second and third add up to the fourth. So we can go 15, and the first number needs to be 10, I think. Yep. The blind man sees all. Okay. Well, there were Orion ambushes, and there was a Norsican warrior as well. Which 
join up with my crew. Oh, a common quality duty officer. Fine. If you need Congratulations, it. Commander. And once again, we have a skill up. So let's go for Blind Man Tell All Tales. This could be a quick one. I could end up doing three or four in one go here. Woo, a big plasma torpedo launcher. Yeah, we can do with that. So we've basically got to beat stuff up, okay. If you need it, I And skill points. How many have I got? Fourteen thousand, okay. I will use those at some point for sure. Hmm. Haven't quite decided what I want yet. Shield performance gives me a flat bonus to shield power level. I'm going to put three more points in hull plating. It's because that gives me a bit more damage resistance, and damage resistance can certainly help. I want anything on the ground that is important. I'm going to put three in squad command because I am going to use those abilities as well so I think that that will be more useful but I'm looking to get up to the admiral stuff uh, fairly quickly at this point and I'm saving some stuff for that. So let's speak to two of eight shall we? Either buy a drink or move along. Shut up. Must be expensive to get rid of all that bored crap out of your head. Right, so they don't have replicators here. And it's one of those things, when you're living in the Federation, you, or Romans or whatever, you get used to sort of replicators and how easy it is, but people who don't have them think about the difference replicator technology would make now. Yep, I will get a botanist to install your replicator. Uh, and I'll take a bridge officer. He's an energy weapons officer. Yep, let's make a show of force. Let's just say we're awesome. We will show you the power of the Romulan Republic. I'm I'm very I'm always tempted to say Romulan Empire then, but you're not supposed to, we're not supposed to be the Empire. We are not the Empire anymore. We will support you with our many weapons and our captain who's not got anything like the uh, who's not got anything like the equipment that she probably should have for this level but whatever I've got them there so one more up here should be good enough Boost support at the bar. We're going to be the big moral people, I suppose. We're beaming down troops. We're installing a replicator, and we're now going to be a. Uh, we're now going to boost your morale by yelling at you. I will yell at you and I will tell you that things are going to be alright because no one has ever told you this before.
friend of mine says you can be trusted and that of course will raise everyone's spirit so they'll rebel against their overlords I'm sure you know that's all it takes is talking to people okay what with they don't have money law now wishes to speak to us it's like the Orion syndicate are dangerous you know there's no no downside you know there's no half assing about this the Orion syndicates are goddamn dangerous and overtly going against them is probably not the smartest thing in the world let's see what law has to say uh oh Not at all suspicious. Whoa, Law's the one who's been giving info? Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's definitely, uh, definitely the tale of a lot of people who do try and stand up for things is that they'll try and help but who the hell will help them. The asteroid belt that used to be our home world, I'm not even sure there's an asteroid belt there considering how badly destroyed Romulus was. Yep. Yeah, you're coming home. And these are some of the extra things that you get for being a Romulan. You know, that line obviously isn't in when you're playing as a Federation character, but you've got to remember, Law's a Romulan, so he's going to, you know, you're hoping that he's going to have more lines for you than he would be otherwise. Time to head to the stronghold. Oh no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Let's get out of here and head towards the stronghold. But yeah, that's the case in many things. You know, the someone wants to stand up and make the grand, grand gesture, but it's a lot harder to do when people won't support you. They paid us 300 energy credits for that, cheapskates. Let me just see if I actually have enough to put into... No, I don't. I might buff my grenades at some point. I think that that might be worthwhile doing, but... I'm definitely saving up for energy weapon specialization because that is what we will definitely be doing. Because that's how you get your crit D through the roof, crit uh, hit through the, and crit D through the roof, and that's pretty much what we have to do. Looks like we're going to have to fight our way through a load of scorpions, but this shouldn't be a problem. I'll be using plasma grenades as a Romulan. Certainly I intend to roleplay a little bit more on some of my characters rather than some of the Delta characters rather than just doing the wholesale 
you know, the wholesale min-max thing. Uh, certainly, I think when I make a second Federation character, I will limit myself pretty much exclusively to... Uh, I will limit myself pretty much exclusively to... Um, oh, I to describe it. There we go, this way. Oh, God, I hate this camera! No! God, I hate this camera. I don't even know what the keyboard shortcut is to make the, that, the camera do that, but I somehow keep hitting it, and it's so irritating. It says free camera now. Yeah. I don't know. The, there must be a keyboard shortcut to make you focus on target. But I have no idea what it is. And when you don't know it's coming and your camera suddenly snaps around. That can be annoying. Find some dilithium. Not doing too badly considering my uh, character's not exactly in dilithium farming mode, but going in the story missions really does help. Well guarded? No, it's really not. There is lag though, I will agree to that. There's a lot of lag. I think we're just going for the murder option considering someone's with us. Unnecessary roughness. Ooh, interesting. But I guess we just keep going the main route for now. Wow, that's an interesting death position. He has been embedded in the rock. Yeah, we kind of saw that, didn't we? Oh yeah, it's through here. I remember having all sorts of trouble first time round not seeing this. red alert anymore. Okay, there goes one group. Jellied green worm. Delicious. There's no group in there. Lag on that. That was uh, <laughs> I love how he just covers up like don't hurt me, uh, there's a grenade at your feet.
Yep, there are people in there, so... Yep, that's what Hyperonic Radiation does. And he's got Hyperonic Radiation 2, Satra, so he's just ripping, he'll just rip through people with that. Oh shit, no, 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 no! <laughs> yep, the Republic will help them. I don't even know what abilities my guys have, but you know. Paying no attention whatsoever. Tell you what, if one of my guys set myself on fire there. <laughs> Us always bad bets, always bad bets. Okay, so we've now got to weaken the outer defences. How do we do that? Do we head up here? Looks like it. Ah, I guess we don't go this way. So we've not done so badly so far. We're trying to make our We're trying to make our case that we're going to stop the syndicate and all that. Yep. Cloak's OP, who'd thought, or Battle Cloak is anyway. <laughs> I do love that cover on the Mika's Cool. Oh, not again with this camera. So like just slap people as hard as you can and you will be fine. Oh. oh, I'm guessing I came into a goddamn canyon, yeah.
Easy peasy. Nope, we're fine. Norse can guard captain, huh? Might want to just hold on a sec until all my stuff comes back. Oh, held! This guy can really take a pound. I get 60 dilithium ore from that, nice. And a personal shield array mark 6, that might actually be better than what I'm wearing. I mean, it will be, right? Just a little bit, but it does give me a chance to deal damage to the attack. Yeah, cool. Has a radiation dot. I can do. I can dig that. <laughs> Drop kick o doom did it again. That does a lot of damage, that hypertronic radiation. I'm really unsure what this does. It reduces retard times by 0.4%. I'm pretty sure it's more than that. Uh, this is interesting. I'm not quite sure what happened. Well, he's dead now. I think the tooltip's wrong with it. I think what it's supposed to say is it reduces reduces recharge times of all team abilities down to 40% of normal. I think, anyway. But anyway, we killed everyone here, so let's get inside. Shangdu! Sod. Okie doke, let's contact Jones. Hey there, friend. And we're going to get a lot of skill points and a plasma torpedo. Energy dampening. Congratulations, Commander. 
and a couple of levels as well so let's have a look at our skill points 17,000 available and I'll put one more in squad command willpower doesn't really do anything I'll put three in shield performance and I'll put three in engine performance as well I think just means again it's a power buff and because I'm a Romulan I want power buffs uh, I don't really want any more on the ground I might put more in PS generator and possibly grenades but I'm not too sure uh, oh I get an opportunity for a new officer haven't decided yet so not going to uh, do that one yet because I want more room do I get more bridge officer room at some point I love how I'm just like taking all this stuff off. Might need to buy a slot for them. Pleasure Palace, okay. I'm gonna do three on this. Uh, I think because I want to get through this ASAP Ooh, nice I obviously will want the Batleth because it's a Batleth for heaven's sake so uh, the Orion Taskmaster is all the way over there so I don't really care uh, yeah I've got enough time I'll begin the Undying mission As I said, we've all seen this before, so I think that I can quite easily just keep running. Especially considering this is just one long mission for the most part. Uh oh, I'm fighting at Commander now, it's been buffed up. Okay, let's uh, speak to Hassan. Should be getting harder to level. Oh, no, not really. When you consider that level 35, it's like 10,000 skill points to level up, and yet 50 to 51 is like 100,000, or maybe a bit more than that. It's a pretty big jump. Oh, you know who we are? <laughs> So he knows exactly that, he knows we're here and exactly why. Let's see, what do we got in here? Yeah, that I can kind of get. I mean, I guess. I mean, I suppose my character might like the idea of that, but interesting, okay. Let's speak to this patron. <laughs> Ooh, yuck. in the cells already. <laughs> yeah, banging our force field do not work. Okay, so I need to find Jensen. You obviously can't program your holodeck very well. And which one's the one you're looking at, buddy? <laughs> that is true, I did shoot my way in here.
sound advice. Smells like a trap, you think? Take a shot. It's pretty terrible stuff. What I am looking for is sorry and brandy. That's what I'm looking for. Because that will allow me to do the Catan uh, mission next. Obviously, that wasn't a very good drink. Huh. Oh, good duranium. It's one of the few things I can't find ever. Since you need it for R&D missions, it's kind of useful. I had to farm some over from my... Uh, I had to farm some over from my main. You want anything on Nimbus? You come to me. Damn awful announcer! Uh -oh. oh no, that's the thing that drops from under you and kills you immediately. God, really? That thing's a beating! Oh, I have an ability. What is this ability? Yay, I have security escort now. Two of my guys are down already. Yes, yes, yes. Yes on both fronts, please. I don't know, they're getting shot at already. Uh, oh, crud. what happens I forgot this thing is incredibly slow firing Yeah, there you go. You can see that you just use tactical initiative and then you spam your abilities and they're down to 40% of their normal. And they're down to 40% of normal. So yeah, that's what it should read. It's chatting rubbish at the moment. But now it's 36%. What they should be. Fear is from the frontier of Dewa 3. Let's see if it puts our fighters in a pit. Ow!
Oh, not the camera again. What's next? You're dead. Stop flashing around. The result of this match is almost a foregone conclusion. I give you the crew of the Snap Dragon! And they're already on fire! Using a what do you call it? What was that thing that Darth Maul had? He's using a goddamn light say light side or whatever they're called. Turned out that was a mess. Sometimes you need to take matters into your own. I'm sure I do. Hassan the Undying. Well, let's see how true that is. Oh, balls. Wow, he's dying already. Sam. First things first though, I've got to get rid of a load of stuff. I'm getting rid of these tribbles for now because I don't want them. And they'll just end up breeding with all the food that's in here. And some of the stuff I might actually want to pick up, so... Don't want that because I'm not a engineer and I think the same will be true of the science stuff. Uh, let's see what Mark 8 that and I got a Mark 8. Did I get a Mark 8 personal shield? Doesn't look like it. Mark 4, really? Or you can have Mark 6 rare for whatever it's worth. Tovan wearing his Mark 2 armor. Whatever. Let's get going. I'll fix all my characters up off screen, but let's say they've got some pretty crappy stuff on them at the moment. I need to put my uh, hypos right. Oh. There we go. Oh wait, that's a medium shield charge, isn't it? That's a small shield charge. That should do it. I need to get some kit modules. Should be able to manufacture them now, though. Oh boy. Well, this is a thing.
Fortunately, everyone in this area is a loss of epic proportions. <laughs> oh no, not this camera effect again. This is taking beating up a bar to a whole new level. And oh, I just got a triple. I don't want a triple. I'm just going to eat everything. Wow, this is lagging badly. Let's get out of the mayhem area because, you know, look at that. This isn't even registering. That's how much lag this game has going for it at the moment. God, this is so annoying. It's like stuff isn't registering for like five seconds when you hit people with it. It's terrible. Oh God, how far away did I respawn from this crap? Wow, that lag was terrible. Oh, he's... Look at that, I actually pressed it there, it registered, and then three seconds later it hasn't triggered. I mean, I know ground lag's bad in STO, but I had no idea it's like this. That is god awful in every possible way. Am I now locked in here? I think I may actually be locked in here now. Oh no, I can walk through the force field, fortunately. Oh, finally. I don't know whether the game servers were having a paddy there or something, or whether it was just the mission was a total overload, but the lag there was absolutely unreal. And, yeah, uh, I'm not someone... I'm usually not someone who complains without thought, but I think that they really need to do something about the lag in the game currently because like a lot of the game, certainly the end game content, is actually just borderline unplayable because of the uh, because of the lag that's going on at the moment. The amount of rubber banding is seriously ridiculous. But anyway, let's access the science database. One eye. That sounds like a key to me. Let's get hold of Hassan if we can. This is my planet. There's no way we can take on Hassan's fleet alone, and there are no other ships in range to support us. There are the pirate vessels, however, and the raiders who use Nimbus as a way station have as much to lose as we do. If we can rally them to our side, we might be able to stop Hassan and get the information we need. OK, 
okay let's see if that works first off let's put everything on auto fire because I know what happens when that goes wrong firing constantly, I like this. What's this? Oh, it's a warp jump, I see. It's a good job that I didn't. It's a good job I didn't put cannons on this. We require assistance. Thank you. You don't know how helpful there was a Thaleron signature coming from that Riemann ship. I think the triggers just warped away. Ugh. tachyon particles in the area. Set him on fire a little because why not? God, the ship is slow. So slow. And I'm not even using Battle Cloak at the moment because, like, no. another RCS accelerator and quickly. Slow ship is slow. In a 
admittedly, I'm going to be pretty hard to take out. Oh, man. Shed loads of warp shadows coming in. They're over here, apparently. Oh, God, my turning circle. Or lack thereof. Well, back to Battle Cloak. And we get another one. So Hassan's over here. Is he fine? That's Cloak. And should have go down fighting now as well. Do I have that? Doesn't look like it yet. We just have to hold on a little bit and wait while we uh, do the long turn. <laughs> I might be willing to make a deal. I'm not willing to make a deal. Oh, it's tactical bridge officer. I see. Yeah, you can see how fast they're going down. I realise this might be a little bit vengeful, but sometimes you just have to. Hassan the Undying? <laughs> that name doesn't fit anymore. We've scanned the records. I think we can recover enough of the computer to give us the data we need. Let's get down there. And then we can move on with the uh, next part of this mission. I just like the ability to murder Hassan the Undying. I think it's just necessary.
the with the Remans, just great. Batleth it is. I think these all do pretty much the same damage. Yeah, but I want a Batleth. Congratulations, Commander. Okay. Uh, what I will also do while I'm here is do that. Give myself a few more beam arrays, because that can't ever hurt, really. Oh yes, and this. Because that gives me... Wow, big increase to regeneration rate of all power levels, and it gives me a buff to my quantum absorption, and it means I can go warp 8.3, so things are looking up as far as that goes. Uh, I will also have this turret on, just because it's better than the other ones I have. So, I'm going to leave this episode there, guys. Next time we'll finish the Nimbus 3 storyline. I feel like getting through it as fast as possible would be better, considering I've already done it. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed me being vengeful. And, oh, I can spend some skill points before we leave it there. I think three more in shield performance is probably needed, just to give a bit more of a buff to power levels. And is there anything else I want? Probably not. I'm actually going to max... Am I going to max out grenades? Is that really necessary? I think I can put six in there. Because I am probably going to use some form of grenade, so it's worth putting a few things in there. And I've got to put another 30,000 points in somewhere. Maybe to my, like, PS generator or something, just to get my... Yeah, let's have a little bit more ground survivability. And that should do it. And we're just trying to work our way up to these Admiral things, because I don't want to put too much more in. I think maybe a little bit into maneuvers. A little bit in maneuvers, a little bit of targeting, and then we can get up to these Admiral things and actually start working through them. Anyway, guys, that is it for this video. This is Boomer. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.